Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about Blueface. If you ain't been under a rock in the last few years, you've seen Blueface blow up. Blueface was born Jonathan Porter on January 20th, 1997. Now, he was born in L.A., but spent most of his life in other places, like living in the San Fernando Valley. Now, Blueface would go to Arletta High School, where he would become a star high school quarterback. Now, Little Johnny wasn't super cripping yet. He ended up getting a scholarship and doing the right things in life and went to Fayetteville State University. But it wouldn't work out. In 2016, he left the team and went back home. Now, Little Johnny fully jumped off the porch and with not many options, became fully involved with the schoolyard Crips. He wasn't a rapper yet, but he ended up rapping being around schoolyard rappers like TC4800. Now off this, Little Johnny became Blueface, and his offbeat ass began to make some noise off his antics, his flow, and just his markability. Blueface first song to blow him up was Dale Lokes. He would pull up to high schools and perform the song, and this kept him viral. More songs would blow up like Respect My Crippin', Next Big Thing, and his biggest song to date, Dathiana. And he would drop his first mixtape in June of 2018. Now he dropped a mixtape in September 2018, one in the summer 2019, and an album in 2020. And let's just say, none of that shit did numbers at all. But Blueface always kept his name relevant in other ways, and that's being all over social media. I mean, maybe the music wasn't popping no more, probably because he was on a slave ass deal. Exactly. Are you selling Cash Money through Cash Money? Uh, Cash Money West. Oh, so that is through Birdman and, and all I know is Cash slim. Money West and Wack 100. I, okay. it could, I, I, you gotta ask Wack about the other other people involved. You haven't seen your own paperwork? Nah, I seen it, but <laughs> Wack showed me. I ain't, ain't see the, you know, I signed with Cash Money West. I don't really know about all the. So Wack runs Cash Money West. Exactly. Then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now his fame came with drama too. He was arrested in 2018, where he got into a shootout with somebody trying to rob him. But he got out that situation. Now in 2020, he started his little blue face club where he invited a bunch of bras in the house and they basically fought for his time and attention. And the one who got his time was Christian Rock. And they became a couple or something like that, I guess. Now over the last few years of them being together, it's been like the new Whitney and Bobby, the new Tina and Ike Turner doing dope and taking blows. Cause every week it seemed like they beating each other asses. She even beat his mama and his sister ass. I mean, Chris Ryan rock music his ass, but she could sure throw a goddamn punch. But all we've seen from Blueface in the last few years is him and her drama and really no music to show for. But hey, they're probably getting to the back with all the little shows they got going on. I see they got a new show called Crazy in Love coming out. Should have been called Crazy on Rocks. Now, Blueface was in Vegas at Lolo's Chicken yesterday when police were watching him in Elmar cars and came and arrested him. This all stemmed from situation on October 8th of this year. When police said he was a part of attempted murder, he will also face additional charges from this case. Now, hopefully, he ain't crashed out and throw his whole life away. Dude is still only 25, and an attempted murder charge can throw his whole life away if he gets charged. Since it's still early in this situation, it's still in the air, and there's still more to cover. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.